If you found yourself on this video, you are interested in the long and short position tools on TradingView. Now, these two tools are very similar, if not the same, except that one is for going long and the other is for going short. Going long, for those of you who are new, means you are buying something on the anticipation that it will go up from your buy price. Going short means you are selling something on the anticipation that it will go down. So you're betting that it will go down with the short position tool. You're betting that it will go up with the long position tool. Now we are going to click the long position tool to get started in this tutorial. And you can see right away that it is highlighted blue here. It means we've got the tool selected. Now, the best part and most important starting point is to know that wherever you click now on the chart is where the trade will start. So this is how you will start to understand this tool and see the trade statistics being shown and calculated for you. So let's just say we wanted to trade Bitcoin at this exact price. You can see here it says $70,525 per Bitcoin. Well, let's hover our mouse over what is about that price on today's candle and click. And just like that, our long position tool is being shown to us. Now, this is just a default look. This is not the exact trade because one of the best capabilities of this tool is that you can adjust your take profit target and you can adjust your stop loss just like that. And to make things even better, you can adjust the duration of the trade or just how it looks on the chart also just like that. And then of course, if you double click on the tool, well, you've got a settings menu that will open up. In this settings menu, you can customize your account size, lot size, risk, entry price, the ticks and price for your profit level, the ticks and price for your stop level. You can even make some style changes. So if you want a certain look and feel, well, you can totally accomplish that. In fact, what we're doing right now is just making this tool a little more visible for this video. We've made our entry point line here, this white line, you just can't miss it. We've made our profit target color a sort of darker green and our stop loss color a darker red. We're also going to make the font a little bigger because we really want you to see these statistics and most importantly, how these statistics are shown to you when you change something, for example, like your stop loss. So you can see here we changed our stop loss and all of the key details changed. What's changed? Well, the amount of money we'll lose if it drops from here down to this entry point. What's changed as well is our risk reward ratio. What is the risk reward ratio? Meaning if our profit target gets hit, what is that amount relative to our potential loss down here? Well, that is all going to be calculated depending on where you end up placing your stop loss and your profit target. But let's double click because there's one more thing we do want to do here, and that's always show stats. Now, the reason why we want to have that on is because if you don't have that on, these stats will hide whenever your mouse isn't hovering over the long or short position tool. For this video, because it's educational in nature, we want to show you the stats at all times so you can just keep your eyes on them and watch the stats as they change. So, okay, let's get back to the fact that we placed our trade right here. Well, based on where we entered this trade and also based on where the current price action is, you can actually see on our open PL that on this trade, we're down about $30. So we are down $30 since we clicked to enter this trade. So it's important to know that your open PL here is calculated in real time and it's being calculated based off the current price of the symbol you're looking at and wherever you clicked to have your entry point. Now, one great aspect about this tool is that just because you put your entry point here does not mean that you have to keep it there. You can move this tool wherever you want. And that's the power of this tool to practice, to learn, to get better, is that you can visualize trades at any point on the chart. Maybe you want to wait for Bitcoin to go higher before you place a trade or lower before you place a trade. Well, you're going to want to place that specific trade where you think it's absolutely 
necessary so that you can visualize it and really get started with your research process. Now, as we start this demonstration, it is quite important to remind you that if you have your paper trading account connected, or for that matter, if you have any of your brokerage accounts connected, you can use this tool to really take your trading to another level. What we mean by that is watch this. We connect our paper trading account. Okay. We're connected to paper trading. We've got our long, our long position tool here. Let's go ahead and right click on it. And there is a button that says create limit order on the tool. If we click create limit order, check this out. You can see here our take profit, our stop loss and our limit. Here is our order ticket with all of the fine details, which we can review and study and make sure they're accurate. And then once we're ready, we can get this order on our chart. And what's so fantastic about this is that these brackets here, this trade, take profit, stop loss limit, is mimicking the long position tool that we've placed on our chart. So you can combine the two to expand your research your planning and your trading capabilities. But it's important before we really show you some more trading examples that we first just walk through this tool in more detail so that you know how to use it from start to finish. Okay, now that we have this trade placed, let's just talk a little bit more about the capability to move your stop loss as needed or move your take profit as needed. Now, these two features are ultimately going to adjust your risk reward ratio in the middle here. So let's say you're a trader who likes to trade three to one risk reward ratios. Well, you can see our risk reward ratio is changing the higher we take our take profit target because naturally it's growing relative to our stop loss. Risk reward ratio is now three. So we could enter here in this example, wait till it goes up to here and then take our profit and relative to our stop loss, that's a three to one ratio. And if you're a trader, well, yep, you guessed it. You can do this over multiple trades and really get a feeling for what your strategy is and how much you're risking per trade and really planning your trades out accordingly. Please do keep in mind, we're just going to delete this for a second here, that all of this, once again, does sort of relate to the short position tool. It's just the opposite in the sense that you are placing a short position visual showing you what the trade would look like if the symbol went down. So you can see here our risk reward has changed. Quite a bit here has changed. So this is the basics of the long and short position tool. Now it's time to double click and go into the settings of this tool. For starters, you already understand the capability of customizing this tool to your exact needs. You saw us always show the stats, change the entry point line, our stop color got a little darker, our target color got a little darker. Let's make the font size even bigger. In fact, let's change the font size. Well, actually, let's keep it really easy to see here, just like that. And now you're really starting to get an understanding of how easy it is to customize this tool. But now let's talk about the inputs because the inputs are going to have a big sort of impact on the data you see here. So in this example, we started off really simple. Our account size is 100. So what that means is that our open P&L is going to be calculated based off of that account size. What we mean by that is look at how our open P&L, we're up to $101 at the moment. Well, based on this account size, that is how our account is doing at this point in time. Now, also what's quite important here is that that is also going to impact, of course, our amounts at the take profit level or stop loss level. So if we type in a thousand, for example, you can see here the amounts have changed. This went to 100, this expanded as well. And of course, our open PL has changed as well. So you have got this capability to do this as needed. Your lot size, depending on the symbol that you are trading, is your lot size. It's the amount. As we know, cryptocurrencies, Forex equities, they have different ways of calculating their lot size. Now, our risk percentage is just that. It is our risk. What exactly is the risk that we want to place on this trade? And what's going to happen is your quantity is going to change depending on your risk relative to your account size and lot size. But let's keep this simple. Let's go to one. 
our risk is 3%. And look at our quantity now. Keep in mind, Bitcoin is $70,000 per Bitcoin. So our quantities change. But if, if our lot size was larger, well, could this trade even really be possible on this level of account size with this? So our quantity is effectively zero. Let's keep our lot size simple just at one. Pretty simple way to follow this. Account size 1,000, risk 3%, but you can also define your risk in dollar terms as well. Maybe it's $30. Let's keep it though at 3%. Now your entry price is here as well. We've got $70,486. But if you wanted to, you could really just make sure that you place the most precise trade possible. And this is where I think things will get really helpful for those of you who want to plan your trades with the exact data. So if you were looking to wait for 70,000, for example, rather than clicking and dragging the tool, why don't you just double click it, find your entry price and type it in, and the tool will adjust to that 70,000 mark automatically just like that. Next up is your profit level. Well, we all sort of look at trades in different ways. You've got ticks and you've got price action. Well, if you've got ticks and that is like how you prefer to calculate your specific trades, you can type in the exact tick amount. Or perhaps it is just a price level. Now, many of you are probably familiar with price levels. So let's just go ahead and type in 70,000. And you can see here our ticks changed as well, 77,000. Sorry. So what we can do here then is basically, because we want to make sure you see this again, show you how our take profit will even change how, you know, depending on what we type in the price. Let's type in 75000 That means at $75,000 per Bitcoin, we're going to take profit. Look at that. It's shrunk. The numbers have simplified our target price, our percentage amount. It's all here and it's just adjusting perfectly. Now the ticks as well are being shown here too, and they're adjusting depending on the price that we type in. You can think about the ticks as sort of a change from your entry price. And also keep in mind here that it's quite important to remember that this also applies to your stop level as well. And these are not different numbers. So for example, if you type in a number on your ticks price on your ticks box, it's going to change your price box. The point is, it's up to you. Do you want to define your stop level by ticks or price? That's all it is. We find that sometimes people find this confusing, but just make it simple and focus on the number you're more familiar with. Some traders prefer to use ticks to plan their trades. Others prefer to use price. Well, what we've just done here is we have done a take profit price target of 75,000 and a stop loss level of 69,000. And you can see that right here. And what's really nice, if you still don't understand the statistics we're looking at, is you can see here that our target price here is from an entry point of 70,000 to 75,000 is a 5,000, you know, dollar increase or point increase in Bitcoin. So from our entry points of 70,000 start to the take profit of 75,000, that's a $5,000 increase. That's a 7% gain in this example for our for the specific trade. The amount of ticks is 500,000. The amount here that we can expect to gain based off of all of this data here, we can find that off to the right. That will be our new amount compared to down here at the bottom if it's a stop loss. Now, naturally, this is the long position tool, so our amount here is higher than our stop loss. The stop loss is showing us what we're losing and what we're now at. The take profit target is showing us what we're gaining and what we're now at. So by now you should really have a great feel for this tool and how to read it and understand it. With that being said, why don't we go ahead and really just go through a trade now from start to finish. So let's just say that we are watching Bitcoin at this exact price and it looks like there is you know, quite some interesting price action happening at this moment, at this time we're recording this video. And in this example, it seems like this really large green candle here that took us up to almost 73,000 is almost going to be tested again. So the point here is let's zoom out. Let's see if there's any interesting levels around this candle. And sure enough, we are in a mega interesting point of inflection where there is just support, resistance, support, resistance. So let's go ahead and first draw that on the chart. Let's see if we can use this rectangle tool to see all of these levels that have been impacted and where we are now. 
you can just see here it's never fully broke out it breaks out comes back breaks out comes back breaks out comes back let's zoom in and we're right in that box right now well that is quite interesting so in that case what we're going to want to do is place a trade then or prepare to place a trade whereby if we utilize our long position tool we wait for this level to get tested and actually kind of already did actually so then if because it already did let's change this concept to when it breaks out above this box we can get involved so let's click right here at this box and let's now visualize what the trade could look like let's put this into perspective what's actually possible here so with all of the information we just shared it's probably worthwhile to note that we want our stop loss to be you know, this box. If this box breaks here in this trading example, well, for us, that could be an example that sort of, you know, all hope is lost. Support did not hold. We got to get out. So there's our stop loss. It's right there. If it breaks back from these lows on this candle and this rectangle we've drawn, well, it's probably time to get out. Now, the next aspect then of this specific trade would be, well, how high could it actually go? go what should we be looking for well, let's get more price history how high does this go well that's quite interesting look at these prior highs here at 73,000. let's go ahead and place our trade at the prior highs and let's say in this example the prior highs will serve as the next resistance point the next point where a double top could happen in fact we can even see this candle that exact thing happened so let's plan for that all over again and ladies and gentlemen we now got our trade right in front of us here it is and we get all the statistics and details we need if we had placed this trade at this point in time where our open p l we're already down we can see our quantity of Bitcoin based off of our account size. Recall our account size is quite small, just a thousand. And of course, our lot size and risk parameters. Our risk reward ratio is 3.85, which means that our potential gain relative to our potential loss is 3.85 times greater. If we look at our target here, it looks like it's about a $3,000 difference from our entry all the way up here. That translates to about a 4.3% increase, 3.1% increase. The tick amount is 304,753. The amount that is based on this trade and the data we've input into our settings box there is 1,115 and 52 cents. And then down here at our stop loss, we can see the stop at about 791, 791 and 40 cents or a 1.12% loss on this trade. The ticks is 79,140 and the amount is 970. So just like that, we've got the trade. Now the question is, do we actually want to enter it? Well, that's up to us. Does this look like something you want to enter? Do you want to trade this? That's the magic of this tool. You now have the power to decide if this looks like a real trade or not. If it's not, delete the tool, get back to researching. If it is, go ahead and right click. And as we were showing you earlier, we click create limit order. We've got our paper trading account active. Let's double check that this all matches all of the stats and facts we just looked over and we accidentally clicked a wrong button there so let's go ahead and redo that let's click create limit order this looks good looks good looks good looks good limit there's our okay okay all right let's click buy and it begins ladies and gentlemen the trade is active it would appear we're in already based off of our live p l happening here our stop loss our take profit and now we're off to the races. And that concludes this video about the long short position tool. And be sure to remember that this short position tool has all of these same capabilities. It's just that now it's being calculated based off of whether or not the asset is going down, not up. And with that being said, we look forward to hearing your feedback on this video and really just understanding how you use this tool, what remaining questions you have, and if you found it helpful. Please do keep in mind also our help center is filled with free information, guidance, and tutorials. And our YouTube channel now has over 400 plus educational videos for all traders. So be sure to subscribe, be sure to watch our videos and get involved because after all, the best way for us all to get better is to just keep learning.
So thanks for watching, and we look forward to your journey on TradingView.